Hey guys, I'm just beginning to water test my new sump that I built for my 125 gallon reef tank build. Um, it's pretty much complete. I've just got to install my probe holder and my float switch holders. And I've got to drill three holes that will hold my filter socks. And then a hole at the end of the sump for the uh, external return pump. Uh, so right now I'm just filling it up to make sure that my Euro bracing holds up to keep the sides from bowing and that there aren't any leaks. Um, so I'm getting ready to watch it fill up and see how it does. And I'm pretty confident as I'm doing it in my floor here in my room that it's not going to leak. So hopefully I'm right about that. Uh, I went ahead and put a one inch strip of acrylic all the way around the bottom and side quarter seams as well as a one inch ear bracing around the sides up at the top. Um, I had some like little seats where I had air bubbles in my uh, solvent and uh, so I just you know added those strips around there to keep it from leaking and to kind of give it a little bit more strength. I don't want to worry about my sump wall busting out or something in the middle of the night, so that wouldn't be good. Everything's looking good so far. Uh, there'll be three holes drilled in there for my filter socks, like I said earlier, but doing good I don't see any water pouring out my floor yet so that's good this is a little boring apologize looks like there was a little bit of a gap underneath that third bubble wall there but as far as um, functionality I don't think it's unaffected any Should be filled up here in just a minute. While it's finishing filling up, I'll give you a quick tour of the sump. Um, my drains are going to come down into the first section, and I'll have some live rock in there. Uh, the drains are going to be uh, two two inch pipes and a one and a half inch pipe and then I'll have three uh, four inch filter socks sitting there and then my reef octopus XS200 will sit there then I have probe holders at the end that I'm going to glue in and my uh, high flow bubble trap um, with I'll have two uh, float switch holders at the end and then it will go out to my external pump. I'm going to go ahead and fill this tank up above the uh, maximum running level like uh, it will be running at 8 inches which is just at that uh, top of that level wall right there but I'm going to go ahead and fill it up as if uh, something in, had happened and the power went off and my sump had pretty much filled most of the way up just to make sure that it's going to hold up. So I'm going to go in here and turn it off and I'll keep an eye on it for a few days and make sure it, it holds up. But thanks for watching.